The elements of the city are apparently inseparable. Every action within it may be important to how the city operates as a whole. As such, the city presents us with a problem. How can we understand its operation if each part affects each other? Underlying the complexity, however, there are some simple foundations. The life of the city, ultimately, comprises individual actions of the people within it, from walking, to meeting, to trading, to relaxing. Every one of us is part responsible for the whole. And each of us has our own unique relationship to the city, how we see it, or not, and how we move through it, or not. It is through our actions that the life of the city is built up. So what are our actions, and how are they limited? The psychologist J.J. Gibson believed that our actions are afforded to us by the combination of our abilities and what the environment offers us. The simplest affordance of all is the affordance to move in response to space. We can measure and map affordances. They form a pattern of potential movement and action in the environment. We can summarise them as lines that join one action to another, one space to another. These lines are not just a representation of space, but a fundamental part of our being. They set the bounds not just on how we engage with the environment, but also how it is possible to act within the environment. They are a summary of the potentials of life within the environment. Complexity and reflect the ability, if you like, to adapt complexity to new purposes. 